My name is uh, Jennifer Ann Tucker, and I'm here because I sponsored the Turkey Vulture Neo last year. My nephew came out last year, and he always likes to see what's in the barn. We went down there, and it was July, and I heard something scurrying around upstairs. Here were two white fuzzballs with black beaks. I ran back to the house, and I looked them up on the computer to find out. Lo and behold, I had turkey vulture babies in my barn. Well, I didn't know anything about vultures. When these birds aren't able to forage in their own wild state, which I know is, is their original purpose if they're ever going to be rehabbed in a place, and when they can't be, then of course they become ambassadors and they're not just something flying in the sky. They become more relatable and I think that's good for children to learn at a very early age so that when they become adults, they are more connected again to all of what's around us. My name is Abby Flanders. I'm the aviary program coordinator at Shavers Creek. My job as aviary program coordinator is to make sure that the birds here are prepared to do their job as educators. I both oversee the animal side of it, but then we also have a student program. We work as a team with our volunteers and with our animals to create create an experience for our students that allows them to gain experience with these animals. The animals that live here at Shavers Creek are permanent residents, and our job here is to make sure that they live the best lives possible while they're here. We want to offer them lots of choices, lots of abilities to show their natural behavior, and to really teach all of us and to teach the public about what these animals are like. So having that donor support allows us to be able to provide the best for these animals, whether that is the variety of food that we provide for them, the variety of environmental enrichment inside their enclosures, or even the amount of time that we're able to spend uh, with these animals, taking them outside, introducing them to newer faces, and being able to, again, prepare them to be educators and to be um, the most comfortable that they can be in that role.